Also, some developing news. Doctors this morning checking on the health of a newborn baby abandoned overnight at a Metro fire station. News Channel 5's Nick Bear is working this one from the newsroom. And Nick, we understand police just updated the situation with this baby. Right. We're learning more this morning, and the indications are the infant is in good condition. The question now, why was this baby abandoned, Steve? That's a question we may never have the answer to, but what we do know this morning is that someone left the child described as just a few days old, two or three days old, at the door of Fire Station 14 on Holly Street around 11 o'clock last night. Now, the person knocked on the door, whoever that was, leaving the child. Firefighters opened it to find the infant left right there in a basket. The baby was immediately taken to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital for a checkup. And we do understand appears to be normal, uninjured. Still no word right now on the gender of this child. The State Department of Children's Services, Steve, as you can imagine, now called in and will be handling custody of the infant for now at least. Nick, good and bad. You hate to hear something like this, but certainly good that, that whoever left this child did, did it this way. And it's worth noting, this could have been years ago against the law, but this now, right. this person did not break any laws. Well, that's right. We've seen cases where tragically the infants are found dumped somewhere where they don't survive. But we do have in the state of Tennessee the safe haven law, and we've got kind of a primer for you on this as to exactly what it means legally under the law. It allows parents within the first 72 hours after birth to leave an unharmed newborn at any fully staffed health care facility. This certainly can include a hospital, walk-in clinic, or even police, or in this case, a fire station. They can leave the child, no questions asked, with no fear of prosecution. There is, as a matter of fact, as you see there on the screen, even a safe haven hotline, 1-888-510-BABY, for any parent out there who may be needing help. Steve, we do expect another update on the condition of the child and anything more around this case later this morning. We'll certainly keep tabs and bring it to you when that information comes available. Back to you in the studio. All right.